Get your monster sad and bitter, or he's feeling like a quitter. See the monster sitter, Mr. Princeton Vice. Hello, it's me, Princeton Vice, with a brand new video for you. This time I thought I'd try something different. We're not hosting a more m m hosting a horror movie. You're not. What's the whole point of being a horror host if you're not hosting a horror movie? All right, I know. I know, Murray. This is Memento Murray. Uh, instead, we're going to try a game with you. Would you like to play a game? No, not that kind. No, no, no. This is an actual um, video game version of a board game that I really like called Mysterium. It's kind of fun and creepy, but in uh, uh, a very subtle way. So we're going to give it a chance to try that out. Let's hope you like it, too. If the music's not too loud. No, it looks like I'm still louder than that. That's good. And so if you never tried it before, try story mode first. Young Apprentice. Scotland. A cold September night in 1921. The police have discovered a new body in a small town in Warwick County. The latest of never increasing number of bodies found. Despite the authorities' best efforts, the fear felt through the town's people continue to grow. It's going fast. But it's kept piling up as the weeks went on, and the police weren't getting anywhere. The rest of Timmy Sweep caught in the... Oh, it's going too fast. Tribes of murders are in prison. Towns relieved. Still, the murders continued. Oh, this is fast. This is fast. Let me do this here. At meeting them, the parish priest concluded that they had been possessed by evil spirits. It was then that Conrad McDowell, a soonish psychist from the region, came to settle the local manor he had recently inherited. Horrified by, re horrified by the recent events, he decided to conduct his own investigation, convinced that the supernatural was the key to the mystery. Given the complexity of this case, he called in his fellow psychics, Alphonse de Belcour, Alma Salvador, Madame Wong, um, Ard Hashir, and Jessalyn Smith to help him. As their journey would take several weeks, Conrad decided to meet with the young journalist, Nathan Crowley. He, he claimed to have heard the voices of the dead since the stabbing, which led to him being committed to a mental institution. Conrad was the only one left to believe the young Irishman and use his influence to free Crowley from the institution. He detected psychic talents within Nathan and wanted to take him under his wing to help him conduct the investigation of this troubling series of murders. All right. All right, let me turn down the volume a little bit again. Oh, I'm afraid it doesn't let me do that. All right, we'll keep going. Uh, if you scare me after the short time inside them, I'm happy to know that I'm not crazy, but I still don't understand how this works. Let's see. We will attempt to come to contact with the ghost of deceased Mr. Rhymer. We'll see where this leads us. Nothing special, really. You know, science dead, nothing special. Let's crack this case. Our goal is to help the ghost find his killer by guessing the correct suspect, location, and weapon. So it's a bit like Clue in that sense. This is your icon. Ghost will send you vision cards that vaguely hint who the killer is. Select the small vision card to see the bigger version on the left. This is suspects. Uh, see the suspect. Select the suspect to see a bigger version of the card. Oh, uh -huh. each psychic has his own suspect. The ghost memory is unclear, so you need to help them narrow down the list of suspects first. This vision card has a blade in it. Maybe the ghost is hinting at something connected to knives or razors. Find a suspect who relates the image. You ready? Cho hit choose the hit the choose button under the suspect. So I see. So these are the cards I can play with. So we got a pretty thing that looks kind of like a crater or a castle with swords around it and uh, standing people vaguely standing in the background. And this looks like a swan's wing and a shadow. And this one is a little bit more literal. Looks like it's a creepy shed. Wood shed. With a, a saw, a scythe, and then out there. So if they're trying to send me that card, let's see who's got some swords. We got the creepy magician. This is good old 19th century something cards? Playing cards. I know they saw people in half, but some maybe that. We got that. Ah, evil nun. Let's 
the beads. I think that the beads might connect to the whip, maybe. Let's see, we've got this person who's totally not Sweeney Todd. Uh, scissors and cuts and razors. And we've got what appears to be some type of secretary or teacher, perhaps. All right, so let's go with Sweeney Todd here. Oh, it's time. You only have two minutes to make your choice. You have to go skip the vision card. Use your time well. Uh, these results of all the psychics. Icons on the green track represent psychics who have guessed correctly. Move on to the next se section. Red track represents psychics who guessed wrong. So, the eye selected correctly. Oh, I guess I correct. I guess I'm the green. Uh, great guess, my friend. Now choose the guess location where the murder took place. You have a vision. And this is the vision. Ooh, very cool Batman S. Well, might be this one. It's You can see this very detail on the card. Hold on top to its big version. Oh, I see. That's cool. See, this one is greenish, kind of the same shade. This has a cat in it, just like this picture here. This one, let's see a little shed. I don't not see a lot, though it's got flames there. This looks very gothic y. Uh, statues and statues with flames and flames. So this thing has two kinds of things in common. Let's give it a try. Made my choice. Oh, I was wrong. Oh, no. I have another vision. So the first guess was... Elephant standing top of the world. This one is a music box. Okay, let's look at this. It's got elephants, and it's got cats, and it's got a music box. Definitely, let's use this one. I was correct! Yay! Good for you. Four hours left. Oh, that's right. Every single time you take it, yes, it kind of moves things forward. Have a vision. So this is the image of the dream. Well, that's very creepy. Look at that. Got a man being shot at and hunted by hounds and a knight creeping on him and a flooding. This man is just not having a good day with a, with a uh, stolen gem. Let's see. That could be the sword. Or it could be an iron, because he's being chased by a man in iron. Dumbbells, not really seeing that one. Not a lot of round images. And a gun, I might believe, but there's nothing really too pointy stabby. Maybe the water to water? Let's give it a let's give the iron a try. Killed by an ancient iron, not a way to go. I was wrong, it looks like. Okay, next hint. Another vision. Let's see. Wolves in the background, the horn, hunting horn, and a sword. So I'm guessing I'm gonna guess the razor. I disappeared, which thinks I mean I made it to the final track, so I guess I guessed that right. Yay! Suspect lineup. Now you have narrowed down the list of possibilities with your fellow psychics, it's time to find out the circumstances of the murder that took place. So, one of these combinations tells the true story of the murder specific to this one. Alright, 
Ghost gives you three hints. Each card represents a suspect, a location, or a weapon. Choose wisely. You have only one try to guess correctly. Select the culprit you think is right, and then the choose button. The vote is secret. You will not be able to use that chat during this phase. You have a vision. So, was it Sweeney Todd in the music room with a razor? Or the magician in the cemetery with the needle? And these are the hints I have. Line is suggesting that. Guillotine blade and traffic cones. Nothing scarier than traffic cones. And a knight chopping down Rapunzel's tower. Oh, that's terrible. These are these are card images I have not seen before. It's kind of cool. Uh, that's two of three have sword and blade imagery, imagery, and one has a cat imagery. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and go with the first one. I think it's Sweetie Todd. Revealing the true culprit. I got it correct. Good for you. You get a cookie. Did I really get a cookie? No. I want a cookie now. Close the case. It was quite a disturbing night. With Miss McDowell, we established a link to the spirit of deceased Mr. Rhymer. The murder of this local nobleman was... Remain unsolved by the police, but we were able to discover the, cul the culprit thinks of the spirit. It was the town barber, Mr. Boyd. Like the others, he has no memory of the night of the crime. Perhaps we can solve this mystery by questioning the spirits of other victims. He has no memory, then. Is he really a murderer? He's more of an innocent. Alright, let's try a full round, then. Aiden Kelly's Journal. September 1921. Today, Mr. McDowell and I went to the train station to meet Alphonse de Bellico. The two men are long-time friends, and his help will be invaluable, invaluable in solving this case. Mr. De, de Bellico was a famous uh, numerologist and French aristocrat whose fame extends beyond borders. The death of his brother during the Great War devastated him, which led him to seek comfort in his mathematics research. That's what all of us do. When we're tired and frustration, we drown our troubles in math. He discovered the numbers had remarkable properties, which you can decipher them. His abilities and peasants are impressive. I look forward to seeing his mastery of numbers in action during the next seance. Oh, wow. Spiffy. Connor maintains that, there are no, uh, that you are promising psychic. Tonight, we'll continue your training. Hey, Donald, to work with you both. Because he's French. I'm glad you realize how lucky you are without much ado. Let's begin. You have a vision. In this case is difficult. To help the uh, ghost, you must earn clairvoyance points. The more clairvoyance points you have, the more visions cards you'll get in the last end of the case. You earn clairvoyance points by finishing the case quickly or by voting on other players' votes. This uh, exclamation point icon means that the psychic has chosen a card. Select their icon to see their choice and their visions. He has chosen. The obligatory Scotsman, Oot! the tuning fork, and the bagpipe. And over here is click on the icon, drag the green token of the second icon if you agree with the choice, or the red one if you disagree. If you guess right, you get one claim variance point. So, base of the options, did he pick the right one? Let's take a quick peek at here. That well, makes much of that sense as anything. Scotsman in a field. And it has yellow strings. I'm gonna say no, I think he's wrong. Meanwhile him. We got Sweeney again and a bunch of blades. That looks pretty good to me, so I'm gonna say yes. Oh, I still have to guess mine too. Don't forget to choose your suspect before the turn ends. Alright. So I've got this person here. 
two cards. Well, this is a white hat. And a bunch of little tiny things that look like symbols. It could be the cogs and gears. But this one doesn't really seem right at all. So let me try her first. Choose. I was wrong. <laughs> I got one point, clairvoyancy point for getting one of them correctly, but one of them wrong because I guess they both were. The other one's going to get it right. Good guess. The more clairvoyancy points you earn, the more vision cards you will get in the last phase of the game. All clairvoyancy tokens are replenished at the start of turn four. You have a vision. So the old vision still apply because they didn't get this one right. Knight going through the sands. Alright, yep, that's definitely gonna be a watchkeeper. Which is her. Let me go back to see what they got. Swimming pool. Bear trap. Well, that looks like candles. Fireplace with fire. Glowing candles. I don't think you're right, sir. Let's see what you got. Yeah, I think you're very right, sir. That bear rug. Plus the bear looks good. So let me go back to me. Uh, ready to proceed. I was right. They were both wrong. So I did burn one of mine, but I got a clear fantasy point for that's right. Five hours left. You have a vision! So my vision is looks like water and the bridge. Fishing. And a storm. That's two water imagery, so that's that's the pool, I think. Let's see if anybody else. They've got no tokens left. So I guess I'm going to choose. Choose. It's now come 4 o'clock, so I get my tokens refilled. Very nice. I have a vision. Top hat. So what's the murder weapon based on a top hat? Aha, there's forks, and knives, and spoons. So let's go with... I think that's right. He's guessed that one. No. Containers, no. Well, this one has a stairway, which looks like the ladder. Kind of a yellowy tone to well they're both yellow. This one's a door. This one's kind of glass red fruit. This one doesn't have any type of I have to feed, you got it tricky, but it's a fifty fifty chance. So I'm going to say his guess is on that one. I'm going to say you're right. Well, he, I'll just go ahead and choose. So we won, got the right ones, and he was correct too. So I got to give it a clairvoyance token. So that's great. Three hours left. Make sure to vote with your clairvoyancy tokens to increase your chances of winning the game. So it's up to me. I've so I'm just waiting on him. His weapon is. I'm not ready to proceed. 
So we've already guessed those correctly, which is why they're grayed out. And his guess is the paper airplane with the ribbon and the book. Oh, that's really tricky. That doesn't really help him much, does he? Oh my. Um, I'm going to guess this because the doorbell and the barbell look a little similar. So he was guessing it was the iron. I'm going to say he's probably wrong. Doesn't really help him. No, he guessed right. Somehow that was supposed to be the iron. Well, I guess it was a triangle shape, kind of like a um, paper airplane. Maybe that was it. Suspect lineup. You have a vision! So I got three cards here, based on my clairvoyancy points. And so is the true culprit of this particular mystery. Is it... Let's see here. We got a Red River, which looked like uh, samurai knives. You know, samurai little... Not samurai, uh, ninja knives from, from uh, Naruto. Got a man... Tuny's feet dust their bloom. Oh, I only got two cards? Really? Five points only give me two cards. That's that's rough. All right, let's see what I can do here. Got some rope imagery there. Got a man who's got balloons, which remind me of a bagpipe. Don't see any knives or sharp imagery or irons. I don't see much in the way of water imagery. So I think this is my final guess. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, did I pick the wrong one? I picked the wrong one. Did I pick the right one? Oh, I did. I picked the right one. Ha ha! Yay! Closed case. Daniel Crowley's journal, 1921. How wrong I was, thinking Mr. Del Decor was a cold and arrogant man. He is flawlessly focused and remarkably intelligent. Thanks to his psychic gifts, we solved this case. It was Mr. Millen, the bagpipe player who murdered that poor stranger as he walked through the woods near the town. I still can't believe this sort of thing is happening here. Combining our efforts has at least allowed the victim's soul to rest in peace. All right, looks like we've got uh, several more to do. A whole lot more to do in the story mode. Um, but... Uh, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can play some one game of online mode, shall we? Well, I'll just play an AI game, see if that works. Psychic. Let's make it a medium, just to be a little bit more fun. In 2-3 player mode, uh, psychic players control two characters. Don't forget to choose suspects as both of them. Oh, mercy. This is me. I've got to pick... So in the first one here, I've got one more person here. I've got that undercut. Makes it definitely looks some makes it look creepy. Well, the birds in the castle and the flying mildly remind me of magician. So let's go with. At number two. Oh, he's got a lot of cards. Why does he, why does he get so many and I get so few? So we got a snake in the trident, paper airplane, we got a broom in the wind. A paper airplane makes you think of him. So I'm going to go here. And let's see if there's any tokens I want to put on there. Well, I don't have any tokens, strangely enough, so 
Let's go with it. Done. So the AIs were right, and I was wrong. Fun. Let's try again. New vision. So was a magician. Candles. Let's go with that. Because that could look like an abbey with candles, which makes you think of a nun. Number two, king with playing games on the beach. And creepy people with lanterns. We know it's not hair, it's not that. I think it's the nun. We got a little top hat here, so let's try that. Proceed. We were right this time. Yay! Two hours left. Five. Five. Three, sir. Alright, so first guess here is a beetle eating dinner. He gets two vision cards, so let's go ahead and do him first. He's got... This is a really cool picture. Oh, what? how'd that happen? Uh, real cool s wires and beetles and, and stilts. And I just love the imagery of this game. It's so beautiful. Upside down umbrella that's floating. That's uh. So we got a water imagery there. Just like this is water. And this kind of reminds me of that. There's also an umbrella in the scene. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this as my first pick. Because we got all the strings and we got the umbrella. So that's first pick. Number two. That looks like a dinner plate. Dinner for worms. My roaches. That is my time. Hey, we were all right. We're all right. Yeah, something like that. All right, the murder weapon. Four hours left. Let's see if we can do this. The vision cards will be handy. Let's go here. So we got a knight. Oh, hold. finally. Okay. We got a knight, a sword, and an hourglass, and time ticking away, and life, and flowers, and a chicken. Why chicken? Don't know. So let's see. That's a bottle, kind of like that. It's also a timepiece. I think the time thing's more obvious, so let's go with that. Me, I've got a gun. Janie's got a gun. But it's also a music box, too. So maybe I'm wrong about the other one. Oh, well, I can't undo that. You think got green rat poison. That makes sense. You got gold, showery, candelabra things. So that makes sense. So let me go with... Figures, so they're little tiny statuey people. So let's go with the statue. Of course, I can't pick the same thing as the other person, but it only means one of them's wrong. Oh, both mine are wrong! <laughs> oh. oh. You can tell I played this game before. Three hours left. Okay, let's try that again. Maybe you've. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's. That looks like it's definitely a clock piece. And you. Oh, I love this image. A little frog in the creepy forest fairy tale. That's so cool looking. Um, so I'm thinking that's a shears, because you got the vegetation you need to cut through with the garden shears. 
and you've got the knight, which is kind of a metal with a metal sword mid plate. So I think you're that, and you're the clock. Let's try it. I was correct. All right, good. But I probably won't have any good hints for the final scene, but we'll find out. I have a vision. So I guess between my two players, I get these three visions here, which are a bird and a fish with a thing separating them. That makes you think of that. And a person lost and on their way. That's very tarot card looking. But it's also very green. Boss looks like a picnic. A bed in the fiddle. Oh, now I don't know what to think. I'll start again. First one. Uh, any imagery that reminds you of that? Not particularly, no. Second one. Got some outdoor fields. Bed in the fiddle. I think they just give me terrible cards. Um, <laughs> I think it's entirely possible they just give me very bad cards. All right, second one. This one again. Well, two or three of these are kind of a greenish hint. I'm just gonna go for the poison. You got a fish and a fish. And the first one kind of looks like a backpack rolled backpack cloth. So I'm gonna stick this one. Oh, there's a one more at the bottom? Oh, you son of a gun. Ah. I still wouldn't have got guessed that from those clues there. Those are terrible final clues. Oh, well. I still had a lot of fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed the game Mysterium. If you get a chance to try out either the video game or better still, the actual card game, it's a whole lot of fun. It's a fun idea of, of thought into abstract, back into thought. So it's really kind of tricky. Um, but we hope you get a chance to try it yourself. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, please let us know in the comments. This has been Princeton Vice and Murray. Don't forget Murray. No one can forget Memento Murray. Remember, you're going to die. And I uh, hope you have a great night. Eat, drink, and be scary for tomorrow we die.